Quiero presentarles la única rutina que voy a hacer completamente en español. Espero yeah. que todos estén preparados para eso. Si no, pues a la verga, porque les vamos a rayar ray la madre a todos modos. Oh shit, sorry about that, guys. Okay. I think somebody hit the SAP button on this one. Do, do you guys know what that is, the SAP button? Spanish, Spanish audio programming? Don't, don't stumble on that thing when you're fucked up. Because you'll be at home watching your favorite TV show and all of a sudden it's Los Simpsons. Dun, 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 dun. You'll end up like, ay mi cabeza. Um, yeah, man. This, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta apologize for this outfit. You know, I, I took my son out to the uh, Golden Dragon Parade today. You know, I wanted to show him like to be open to other cultures. You know, and not be so ignorant with like what other people do, you know, their thing. But I decided to drive down there. I'm gonna say that again, I drove down. down. <laughs> so I almost didn't make it here tonight. <laughs> like, but what made me want to take the risk is that like earlier in the week I got an Asian woman as my Uber driver, so I'm feeling pretty invincible. <laughs> Now, the reason why that joke is, is more stupid than racist is the fact that the only reason why I was using Uber is because I wrecked my car. <laughs> like, people always tell you don't drive drunk, but like, the reality of it is they should tell you you should probably not fall asleep while you're driving. Because <laughs> I, I crashed right into a center divide at full speed, woke up with a stop sign right on my windshield, and I just thought, it's a little late for that. <laughs> Me lleva la verga. Shit, sorry, I hit it again. That's one of my favorite phrases in Spanish, me lleva la verga. Because it's used like, we'll all be damned, or like, we'll fuck me, right? But the direct translation is, I'm being led by my dick. Which is how I found myself taking a kayak tour of the LA River. I know what, I know what you're thinking, like, is that a fucking thing? It's a fucking thing. Right, I met this girl, she was really outdoorsy. So I thought, you know what? Let's book this excursion. So there we were, and it went exactly how I thought it would, right? She's up front, taking every selfie imaginable, right? Like, oh my god, I love the outdoors. <laughs> Homeless guy in the background. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in the back of the kayak, just treading through like two inches of water, just... Me lleva la verga. Led by my dick. But, uh, yeah, man. I, uh, you know, there's no such thing as a free lunch. But, ladies, come on. There is such a thing as a free lunch, right? There's a free lunch, free dinner, free brunch, sometimes free dessert. Like, fellas, if she's asking you to have a date for brunch, she's fishing. She's got the best lure, the potential for. And you're the fish, right? Man, it is hot up here. I'm gonna, you guys are gonna have to like, give me a second, I gotta, I gotta remove this thing, open it up a little bit, you know? Don't, don't get too excited. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it, we'll do this. We'll figure it out later. So, so is everybody ready for tomorrow's game? Yeah. My Niners are going to give Kansas City a good old-fashioned San Francisco butt-fucking. <laughs> it's happening. There's going to be disco lights, and they're going to be moaning just, oh, 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 oh. I don't care how old I get, that far sound, that far sound never gets old. <laughs> Always hilarious. Um, but yeah, man, I, uh, you know, as you guys can tell by this haircut, I'm taking my comedy seriously. <laughs> you know, my friends always ask me, like, hey, Sam, are you Native American? And I go, no. I'm just an alcoholic. <laughs> no. But uh, I, do, I do have Native roots, and it does make dating a lot tougher. You know, I, I went out with this girl, and she was asking me all these, like, Native questions. She's like, what's it like to build a teepee? <laughs> like, funny thing about that, I live in a house. <laughs> There go those fucking stereotypes again, right? She was like, you ever smoked a peace pipe? I was like, you mean weed? 
In California? That's like standard issue. Like when I was born, they were literally like, slap my ass, give me a joint. <laughs> then I dated another girl who was like, uh, so what mix of native are you? And I said, well, I'm half native, half Spanish. And she was like, oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of that mix before. <laughs> And I was like, have you never met a Mexican? That's, that's what we are. That is literally, that is literally what we are. Yeah, um, you know, I, um, Funny thing about dating, right, is like you troll through these like sites, and I actually read the profiles. I think they're fucking hilarious, right? <laughs> like you get the guy who's you know showing his like pictorial muscles and all that, right? And you're like, this this picture looks a little feminine, dude, right? <laughs> like the nail polish in the background, him doing his nails, you know? it's a little weird, right? And then you get the girl who's like, hey, I want a guy who's like over six foot five, seven hundred plus credit score. Must deal with my five kids and my like shift at Sephora. <laughs> what? All right, but they're not all losers, you know. Like you get the girl who's crushing it, you know. She's just killing it. She's like, fuck yeah, like I'm happy, I'm killing it. I'm like, That's cool. But I'm here for the floozy, so get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm like, aim lower, girl. Aim lower. I can't do anything about this face. It's literally like left swipe inducing. <laughs> so guys, I've only been doing this stand-up shit for like eight months. And if you guys are having a good time, I really appreciate that, but it's, it's hard work. Right? I, uh, I, I learned from somebody that you gotta be the first guy at practice and you gotta be the last guy out. You know, so I'm not trying to say I'm Kobe, like the Kobe of comedy. But that is some greatness that you want to live up to. I think we could all live up to that, you know? So rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. My name is Samson Curry. You guys can find me on YouTube. I appreciate you all.